Howdy folks, Hidden Object Guru here with tonight's Hoguru stream. Alright, seems to work fine. Did I forget to mute myself? Yeah, that happened. Also pause the video. Really, just an embarrassing move all around. I'm sorry to hear that, Maddie. Alright. Let's start this bad boy up. I'm just going to turn on the recorder. Hey, Wesley. Hope you're having a good night. All right, here we go. Hidden Object Guru here with Haunt New Game Death Trap World of Van Helsing. Uh, this is a spin-off of the Van Helsing series of action RPGs. You know, Diablo-likes. Uh, this game actually came out like five years ago. But it was in early access, and it's done now. And it's just today come out, or last week, something, come out on PS4. So we just got sent a review copy, and we're checking it out. Okay, so I should probably level up before I attack this thing. Alright, so where is the killer snake? Spectral Serpent, there we go. So I want that to be R2. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, I think I understand what happened there. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to level this bad boy up a ton. Just get ourselves a crazy murder snake. Damn. 300% of damage, you say? Van Helsing's Death Trap. It's a cool title. Might not be the technical title. Alright, so now I'm going to power up my werewolves, because my werewolves are the only... Uh, uh, the only toy I love. I can have a cage full of werewolves that, like, has were... Uh, so whenever an enemy comes near it... Like, a bunch of werewolves pop out and attack them. It's pretty great. Ooh. Well, how much time is it now? Cool down 33 seconds. Yeah, okay. Let's get that down to 32 seconds. Actually, you know, come to think of it, that's not that good an improvement. And you can get up to a 10% chance of having a mutant super albino werewolf. Uh, so what is your news, Maddie? And what is your question, Horror King? All right, here we go. Let's try this mission out, shall we? It might not go well. Uh, I have to play it on hard. So as you can see, I've beaten nine of the game's missions. I've been trying to do the quests whenever they turn up, and those are only on normal and hard. Sometimes they're not even on normal. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of this on the harder difficulty, which is challenging. Okay, there... They're not lying when they call it hard difficulty. Alright, let's do this thing. He had better hair. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, 100%. Favorite Tim Burton movie is Batman. No, no hesitation at all. Don't get me wrong, Beetlejuice is fun. Frank and Weenie is fun. Hello. I'm really torn between Beetlejuice and uh, Batman. Yeah. I love Batman, but I, I really, like, if I, if I look back at them, I think I prefer Beetlejuice. Well, maybe not. No, Batman. Uh, wow, that is a lot of attacking dudes. Oh my god. And also, hello. And they're all attacking in this first wave. Looks like I should get some werewolves on the uh, werewolves on the job. All right, so now I got three werewolves to defend there. That should help a little. Get a fire pit. Something to shoot people with. Something to is that freeze tower? Yeah, fire tower. Okay, now we have to go attack the other side. I gotcha. Although you would have to pick between Batman and Batman Returns if you wanted to say what your favorite was. Well, Batman. Yeah. But I wasn't talking to you. I like Batman Returns and all. Cause, That's you good. Know, Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer is awesome, but Batman clearly is the better movie. She's Pfeifferistic. Is that, has that been tested, though? Okay. Good to know. 
I literally spent every dollar. This is going to be tough. Hey, Pedro. How you doing? All right, let's start this up. All right, so now we're going to go attack these guys. Where's my... Come on, die. Wow, these guys are easy to freeze, aren't they? That was the easiest challenge mission I've ever had in this game. Huh. Hey, guys. Hey, look, I got a mutant uh, bonus power one. Oh, wow, I got killed immediately. These guys are tougher than they look, and they look pretty tough. But they're very weak against electricity, and I'm an electricity-themed character. Okay, so I have 19 more deaths. That's not enough. Oh, dang. Maybe I should stay clear of that. I mean, I don't know if it affects me, but it could. Come on. Why won't you die? How oh, can I afford a new gun? Nope, not yet. Awesome. Yeah, Batman's one of the best movies. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I know. Because this guy's spitting poison at me. Oh, damn it. Is that enough? I saw Batman in the theaters. So did I. It was awesome. It was Batman. Hello. Uh-oh. No! The creatures got to the gate! Oh, wow, they killed me. Well, that was a brutal wave. Oh, it's not over. I seem to be profoundly not ready to take this uh, level on on hard difficulty. Also, my werewolves that I tend to base all of my defense plans around are really kind of letting me down vis-a-vis -vis the whole acid spitter, guys. Yeah, I, uh, there's three characters you can play as. I went with the uh, sorceress because she has lightning powers. There's also a warrior with a battle axe and a uh, uh, a marksman with a magic crossbow. So you know, good good group. I'll bet I do. Please die. Oh wait, I can slow them down a little, and I can do one of those. And help me out here. Thank you. Are you saying Batman is rated 18S? Ah. Seems weird to me that Batman would be rated 18. Yeah. But then again, there is a lot of murder in the movie Batman. A lot of people getting killed in Batman. Like, we were quite young and we were able to oh, see yeah, it. Oh yeah, I know. I but it, it was wasn't like, rated R here. It was an AA or something? Yeah, it was AA. Yeah, so we had to have Adult Accompany. But... Well, that was a disaster. In every conceivable way. You say that, but the traps aren't really getting the job done, per se. Ergo, concordantly. See, I really thought my werewolves were going to do a better job of holding him up here, but they didn't do that at all. Okay. Let me see these werewolves in action. Alright, so where are they going to be attacking from? Yeah, I... Hey, don't be like that. What you should really do is live to hate these slime jerks. Whoa, they do too much damage. Hopefully if I do enough damage to them early on, my werewolves will come in and help clean up the uh, mess they leave behind. Dear werewolves, please don't go down there. Oh, god damn it. Okay, the Phoenix Tower is very effective. Are we good? 
We're good. Okay, so. Can I afford this now? I can not. Yeah, I cannot. Oh, but I can afford this. Who's hitting me? Where did those guys come from? Where are my werewolves? Ah, they probably all got murdered. Oh, great. Giant blade monsters. Called, and this is true, Shredders. Just like the character from that TV show that time. Oh, we're definitely losing this map. Like, destroying it. That's what they're here to do. This is not as complicated as you want it to be. Oh my god. How many waves of this do I have to do? Five. I have to do five and I'm one wave two. Oof. My werewolves are usually more effective than this, I'm going to say. Just putting that out there. Of course I want to know why. Why wouldn't you, uh, why wouldn't you just assume that? All right. Got myself a little bit of breathing room while my uh, werewolves just kick all kinds of ass down there. Okay. Oh, I hate you slime monsters. Ugh. Because, you know, of what you do to my werewolves. It's nothing about you intrinsically. It's the actions... Uh, piston beast. Oh, that looks dangerous. I don't want to fight a piston beast. Yeah, see? He instantly killed me. Which makes me lose yet another life from my tower. Also, these guys just ran past my werewolves, which doesn't seem fair. Oof. At least I can kill these guys, and my werewolves seem to be handling that piston beast okay. I mean, they're getting killed, but they're doing a lot of damage. Alright, here we go. There we go. Nope, not going to let you guys get past me this time. Okay, good. I can afford a new... Uh... Here, you're poisoned. Oh, wait, those are mechanical beasts, aren't they? Poison doesn't so much work on them. That was a uh, tactical mishap of the highest order. I've been making a lot of them. <coughs> Did a single guy over there kill all of my werewolves? Because I don't see any werewolves... And he's just moving towards the target completely unmolested. Is he dead? He's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, where'd you come from? How did I miss that guy? Okay, yeah, the Piston Beast uh, took apart my werewolves like they were made of butter. Wow, I don't know why my electricity works so well on Piston Beast, but yeehaw. Okay, let's build a trap. Yes, flame should help delay them a little. In fact, let's do two flames. And then on the other side... Uh, I guess just trust the where... Oh, good, they're coming from new directions. Fantastic. Exactly what I was hoping would happen. But I did put up that flame, so that should help a little. I love that they're walking diagonally past this one. Well, what can I possibly put in that trap that would help then? Yes, yes, I know. Alright. So where are the bad guys coming from? Due north. Okay. I got some werewolves. And I'm going to help those werewolves as much as possible. That's right. Alright, I've helped the werewolves a little. Now to quickly teleport over. Uh, okay, my other werewolves are helping with those guys already. So I'm going to get down there and see if I can pitch in muck in oh my god these guys are not screwing around all right uh can i put fire here or spears oh right fire is a magical trap and spears are a physical trap okay not a problem all right where are they coming from over there all right so do i have a teleporter no i don't Let's just speed up my running speed which also speeds up their running speed no so a fun thing you can do is, like, just delay them attacking you physically on top of a trap. And that will have the effect of, uh, 
make it so they have to stand on the trap longer. I mean, it's a trick that gets you killed, but it does work. All right. Oh, no! They ran right past my... Oh, good. They ran right past my traps, and then they got killed by the fire. So that was... Sorry, the poison. Uh, you know what? I'm going to think about that one for a bit. I think somebody made it past everything over there. Yeah, two guys. Oh, this is bad. No, they're dead. Okay, way to go, bullet-throwing thing. Okay, how are we doing guys-wise? Halfway through the mission? Okay, good. And we haven't lost any... No, we lost one more point. But not many. Okay, spike trap, please. Come and get me. And by get me, I mean get spike trapped! That kind of worked. I mean, it literally did work, but, it, you know. At what cost kind of situation? And they killed me. Oh yeah, this is ending badly right now. I think I'm just going to have to beat the rest of the game on easy and rush through it for review. Then if I feel like it, I'll come back and see what some of the harder levels are. Oh my god. Well, that was brutal, huh? Oh, that's sad, Maddie. He couldn't find any Ratchet and Clank games. And now, Ratchet and Clank do make uh, do star in badass games. So there's nine guys left, and they're all over there. Okay. I got a hundred and two. That is not a lot of essence, everybody. Uh, that looks like a boss. That looks like a boss to you too, right? Oh, he's got a shield. It's always annoying when they have shields. Yeah, this these guys are when the uh, uh, the game goes all Warhammer Chaos Monster kind of vibe. Which I've seen in the regular Van Helsing games. That's one hell of a workout, working. Okay. My werewolves getting it done, or do they need a little help? Well, they always need a little help. Sorry, Shreddy. Okay. Who's coming the other way? Oh, no! Oh, my God! Yeah, he can one-shot you, because the Sorceress is not a strong character. Where I'm playing as another character, she would uh, they wouldn't be killable this easily by those guys, but I am not. I feel like 160 isn't a big enough reward for surviving that. Just putting that out there. All right, uh, what can I do to make this a little tougher for them? Spikes. And uh, I guess another gun here. Can I afford that? No. I can. All right, Phoenix Tower it is. All right, the odds that we're going to lose on this next round are pretty high. And if I do, we'll just quickly... Uh, show you what the game looks like on casual difficulty, and I will show you that it's actually much more accessible than I'm making it seem. All right. Sorry, spy drones. I'm not going to let you harry my uh, beloved werewolves any longer. I really put a should, uh, should have put some traps up here to deal with these guys. They've caused me enough problems in each in uh, in each individual round that it's not like I couldn't have figured out they were going to be an issue. Oh my god. No, really? Luckily, we heal every bit as quickly as we uh, get our mana back. Yeah, they got all of my werewolves. This is not a good look for me. And those werewolves had families. I mean, they didn't. They were, you know... Psychic creations of me, but like metaphorically, those werewolves had families. Come on! Yeah, well, it's tower defense slash action RPG. There's a full leveling system, and I have a character with, you know, hundreds of, well, not hundreds, but, you know, a dozen spells to power up and practice. 
to help me defeat these guys. But as you can see, it's going very badly. I literally have three hit points left for the entire uh, level, so. Yeesh. And I have 63 more guys to kill on this level, and probably another 100 next level. So my odds of taking this match are very low. How are you doing, freaking? All right, so quickly, I want to get in here and back up your werewolves as much as possible. Help them do damage early on. And these guys will be less of a problem later. Uh, let's hit everybody in the once with this spell. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does do damage. Let's slow everybody down. As you can see, it's good to put guys in slow-mo when they're walking over traps. Because, you know, obviously. Alright, there's a giant horde coming from my target. And... I was hoping the fact that it was a horde would mean it was going to be weak guys, but no, guys, but no, that's an abomination. And he's got a lot of other monsters with him. It's over. We had a good run, everybody. But uh, it's currently over. Oh my god. Yeah, they got me. No, really? Oh, shush. Alright. We're gonna... I'll show you what it looks like on... Uh, Kazuo. And you'll see that it is a much more manageable experience. Alright. Also, problem with this game... It's not a big problem, but it's something I notice. Uh, way too long loading times? Like, there's nothing complicated enough about this game that it should be like... Oh yeah, that's going to take you 15 minutes to load a new level. Obviously, it didn't take me 15 minutes to load a new level. I'm not uh, delusional. I'm using hyperbole. It took 45 seconds, which to me seems high. When, like, a level in... Um... Oh, whoops, wrong button. A level in uh, Plague Tale Innocence generally doesn't take 45 seconds to load on PS4. And that's, you know... One of the best looking video games ever made. Oh, okay. Well, I think Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. And was that... Actually, which Jack and Daxter was that? Hmm. Well, you should try it out. Now I'm going to show you how much more manageable things are when you play it on casual. And it's going to be an illustration of why every video game needs a casual mode. All right, let me see. Name Paul, C Paul McCartney song better than John Lennon's Imagine. And Live and Cody, Let Die. Cody's response, most John Lennon songs are better than John Lennon's Imagine. That's really good. Which is true. It is. All right, now I got some bosses, hell werewolves ready to wreck stuff up. And then I'm going to get some more bosses hell werewolves ready to wreck stuff up and then i will just manually defend the rest four werewolves at a time everybody it's gonna be brutal yo i shouldn't be allowed to talk all right i'll just get a gun can i not afford any of the upgrades oh no i can't all right let's do this Oh, you want to come and meet my werewolf, do you? Let's we'll see about that. As you can see, suddenly they don't take huge amounts of hits or do huge amounts of damage. I can leave the rest for my beautiful werewolf friends. Come on. Oh my god, look at them. Their tails are wagging. Because they're excited to start murdering. So apparently Trump tweeted today that he's hereby declassifies everything that has to do with the Russia investigation. He definitely didn't really do that. Well, BuzzFeed says that's a waiver and are demanding the entire Mueller report and they're now going to a judge about it. Whoa. Because BuzzFeed? Well, no, yeah. I mean, if, if yeah. he publicly tweeted it and they say the tweets have the force of being official government statements, he just waived yeah. 
the classification, the entire Mueller report. Yeah. They were like, all right, sure, great, thanks. Yeah, no, that would that would work. <laughs> I mean, unless there's some secondary declassification process he legally has to do, which he would obviously never do because he's unbelievably corrupt. He never told us about aliens either, although the Air Force did tell us about aliens. I will give them that. I complain a lot about what the government does, but the government did say, yeah, there's UFOs. We don't know whose they are. They could be from outer space. They could be from North Korea. They could be from Russia. We don't know, but these things are real, and we're kind of freaked out about it. That happened last year, and then everyone, like, literally no one paid any attention to it. And then I'm like, what has happened to the world that we just found out that the army is confirming that UFOs are out there and we don't know what they are? And no, like, nothing came of it. At all. Like, yeah, all of you cranks taking pictures of lights in the sky? Yeah, you're all right. You're all correct. This is happening. And we just don't know what it is. And we're just as afraid as you are. It's a weird day. All right. Uh, I would very much like a uh, fire pit. Thank you very much. I can't guess, Hor uh, Maddie, so just tell me. He's a bad guesser. Famously. Like, when it's time for me to guess in uh, quizzes, nope. I always get it wrong. Or almost always get it wrong. Obviously, I would never claim to Apparently always get it wrong. you need a four-sided die. Yeah. But, uh... I win quizzes because I have a decent memory, not because I'm a good guesser. Yeah. I almost beat you today. You did? It was really close. But you didn't know uh, 90s movie posters. And I did. I knew the ones I had seen. And that's not enough. There wasn't many of them. Exactly my point. Okay. Nope. Can't afford that. Can't afford this. All right. Let's do this. <gasps> oh, that was painful. Wait, I can teleport over there. There was a mission I had to complete without using the teleporter for the bonus condition, and uh, that was tough. Oh, wow. Apparently powering up my uh, Everybody Gets Frozen spell was a good choice. What? Yeah. Are you guys going to attack those guys? or No, you're just going to let them run right by. I feel like the werewolves aren't perfectly positioned. Please, not that moment. Are you mad because I'm walking in front of the TV over Oh, and over 100%. Again? And over Furious. And over again? You, you have no idea, woman. And over and over again? It is to my chagrin. And once more over and over again? You might be the worst. And then a little more over and over again. Turns out she was the worst, everybody. I checked. Get it done, werewolves. Oh, jeez. I have been nothing but a tireless supporter of yours, so I'm going to need you to have my back for once. Also, I'm going to need the guys in this level to be worth more essence so I can start building some, like, legit traps. It's true. Werewolves are good friends to help you in tower defense. I give them a lot of crap, but when, it when, when we're in a bind, they get the job done. Damn. I wonder what the maximum level for characters in this game is. Alright, the new guys are coming from right over there. Oh, it's more of these jerks. All right, so I got 74. How much does this guy give me? Eight. See, that's not enough for a giant guy who can one-shot you with his laser arms. I'm now understanding the value of the towers that give you, like, more essence when they kill dudes. I'm sorry, what? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Okay. You know, the crazy part is, if Trump were to actually declassify the Mueller report, 
Andrew Weissman could just go on TV and say all of the secret stuff that happened. Because if he truly uh, took out everything to do with the Mueller report, that's all. Of, that's not just the report. That's all of the interviews too. Yeah. Huh. Well, that could be interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy the Van Helsing games. Uh, I never. I don't think I've ever finished one, just because invariably when I'm playing an action RPG, you know, a Diablo-esque, I reach a point where I just, I can't be bothered to keep doing it anymore. You know? Like, I just don't, I never find the combat very engaging. And this is, like, every single, like, this isn't just one or two. This is every single one. Even ones in settings that I adore, like, um, I have Inquisitor, right? Which is the one for Warhammer 40,000, which is an awesome Diablo, like, in the world of Warhammer 40,000. Gorgeous gameplay. Look, plays amazingly well. Monster Mash, eh? What is that? We just got a trophy. Let's find out what it is. Summon 250 monsters and summoning traps. Oh. Well, I would like a lot more than that. Slayer of Slayers. I'm like, how has someone already got 100,000 kills? Although maybe there's like a map that's 100% swarms. And you can like play it on casual. And get like 800 kills, and he just spammed that level over and over again by building a bunch of fire traps and letting the swarms uh, get murdered. I feel like that would work. Like, see these swarms here? Watch what happens when they hit the fire trap. See? I don't have to do anything. The fire trap does the work for me. Werewolf. My werewolves are getting it done, peeps. I mean, they all got killed, but, you know, moral victory. What? Apparently some guys snuck past and damaged my uh, reactor. It doesn't matter, though, because um, when you're playing on casual, you can only have a one-star victory. So literally, it doesn't matter how much the core damage the core takes, because you can never get any more than one star. And that's how it works. So you're... Uh, so on very hard for example no, hard difficulty for example you start off with three stars and then you lose them as the core gets damaged and if you do it without the core getting damaged at all or maybe it's like one or two i haven't actually checked uh i've just i've either lost it or won it on full oh no wait i won with like four left at one point and then i was down to one star hey. but i wasn't checking how it went there's only two likes what's wrong with you people hit that like button there's four of you here how are there only two likes Get it together, people. That's how YouTube decides whether or not people are going to get recommended to this channel. And unless you're, like, got some kind of a weird, like, crazy thing where you're like, I don't want anyone else to know about the channel but me, then there's no reason not to... What's the word? Smash the like button? Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, what are we doing? Yes! We're attacking that spar. Spur. Oh, yeah. Somebody's ready for a nap, huh? Plausibly. Are you already napping and you're just pretending to talk to me? Yeah, my eyes aren't really open. They really don't look open to me. They're closed. I mean, if you look at my pupils, oh, you yeah. will see that I am not really all here. No, no. Those are 100% pupil eyes. Yep. Hmm. How much do those cost? 50, 50. Icicle field sounds good, actually. Poison cloud. Oh, I don't have enough. Werewolves, could you kill those last two guys so we can get going, please? It was a monster barbecue. Did Freaking. Maddie tell you what? What do you mean? There was a whole guess what thing in the car. Oh, no, we're still waiting on him. Man. They're taking forever to kill that guy. Get me all curious. Man. Wait, are either of them actually doing damage to each other? Okay, you promised okay, me a were. horror game. Is this a horror game? I'm fighting monsters in a dungeon. In a world entirely themed around, you know, battling Dracula. So, the streamer cloak, is it like, like just for aesthetics then? No, it's this magical. It seem very practical. You kidding? It's how you channel magic. It's, oh, so it's practical magic? Yes, the best kind of magic. Alright, so where are they? Uh, oh, did I not start the next level? I didn't. It uh, deletes all your old werewolves when you start a new wave, which is kind of sad. 
You get very dramatic and gothy. I know you're a witch and everything, but even for a witch, you're getting very dramatic and gothy. Okay. I, I'm curious about questions. Questions are good. Ask questions. Everyone loves questions. Questions! Alright. Spikes. Alright, I need 100 for spikes, apparently. We're already at 84. Maybe this guy's going to get some decent uh, value. And he did not. Oh, I didn't watch that. Okay, you have $100. Is that Canadian dollars, American dollars, Brazilian dollars? Oh, no, wait, in Brazilian, they're what, reals? No, that might not be Brazil. I'm not good with foreign currency. Turns out in Korea, they have the won, W-O-N. Just found out that one. I knew that. Uh, it's all the same word. Won, yen, won. Me yelling the word question. That's what you missed, Horror King. It was very entertaining. It was super entertaining. We were all charmed by the questions. I made an almost pun, but not a real pun. Yeah, those are the best kinds of puns. Puns where you yeah, just about get Wait, there. Is that, is that a pun? No, it's no, kind of a plan. Not really. Is that a reference to Sandra Bullock movie? Kind of. Everyone's favorite Sandra Bullock movie, Speed 2. <laughs> You're welcome. <coughs> Oh, it is the Real in Brazil. Okay, I don't know where I learned that. Probably a TV show. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, behemoths. You're very freaky. But you're not immune to spikes. Anytime you want, you can uh, press pause and find out what a monster's weaknesses are. It's kind of neat. So, so you can go here, right? Oh, what is the heavy arachnopod's weakness? See? Speed, normal gauge, horde, strong protection against piercing traps, vulnerable against splash traps. See? There you go. So, like, uh, spikes wouldn't work on it, but the fireballs that my uh, phoenix tower throws would be good on it. Oh, he knew you were joking. And what pun horror came from last night's Of course. Because... If I, if I was asleep, I didn't notice it. But if I was awake, I probably thought it was hilarious. But considering I fell asleep halfway through the stream, I, I might not remember, because I might have already been half asleep. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I should use more of these slow fields. They seem really valuable. There we go. I don't know what a landy is. I don't know what a landy is, uh, Pedro. So I cannot answer that question. Uh, not this stream, Maddie. Uh, your video was helpful, but I don't want to have to go and check a video every time I get stuck in the game. So I'm going to have to go and get a uh, text walkthrough to use. And then I'll uh, arm her with it, and then we'll do that tomorrow. So yeah, Franbo tomorrow. It'll be a blast. We're going to have a champagne jam. What's the difference between a champagne jam and a beer jam? Uh, about $150. <laughs> Thought that was pretty obvious. Uh-oh, it's a champion behemoth. He had a shield. He doesn't so much have the shield anymore. Alright, spike yourself up, my good sir. Ah, my werewolf got the job done. I'm very happy to see that. It's just a cool game. Very happy with this. Double puns are some of the best. Okay, for here, I would like more spikes. Just put down more poison traps. They're pretty badass. Alright. That's the wrong button. <coughs> Excuse me.
Yes, my dear. They are. I didn't entirely mute the stream, and I just heard your sneeze echoed on my the other side of me. Fascinating and logical too. Nice horror king. I I I'm not really going back to look at what the pun was though. No offense. I'm sure I enjoyed it at the time. Oh God, these behemoths are nasty. I think my werewolves can handle the rest of these guys? Probably, right? Yeah, probably. Alright. Oh, they're getting poisoned and they don't like it at all. Well, that'll teach them a valuable lesson about screwing with me. A person with, uh... Yay, silver key! That unlocks bonus items at the end of the level. And cash! What's my favorite food? Okay, uh, tough question. Um, probably my uh, vegetarian lasagna I make is my just favorite food. Although I gotta say, I make a really boss uh, mashed potato as well that's great. But we're probably gonna go with lasagna, followed close by uh, sushi. And when I say sushi, I mean tuna and salmon sushi. I'm not that fond of crab, shrimp, or eel, but... Uh, I love me some tuna, tuna and or salmon sushi. That is a, that is one of my definitive treat meals up there with uh, why are lasagna. You, why are we talking about food? Take a guess. No, I want you to tell me. Did someone Because we were question? asked. Yes, but what was specifically was the question? You know, you can look at the question. It's oh, right there. Jesus. You're supposed to be participating yeah, in the is, stream. This People is like kind of that. Right to read. Yeah, you do have bad eyes right now. Damn your pupils! So, what is your favorite food? Oh, God, what is your favorite? Oh, that's hard. I told you. Is it cheesecake? It might be cheesecake. No, that's favorite dessert. Oh. Desserts well, don't differentiating count. Differentiating dessert from food? Of course. Oh. Well, now it's a harder question. I know. It would be cheesecake if we were just doing everything. Possibly pizza. You like pizza the best? I don't know. It's hard to pick a favorite. I know. Four cheese lasagna. Actually, my special lasagna is made only with two cheeses. Uh, mozzarella and feta. Both of which are great. But it has plenty of other stuff going for it. Tofu. It's got... Oh, damn. Uh, it's got tofu. It's got rice paper. It's got a bunch of spices. A little bit of hot sauce. Sometimes some jalapeno peppers. Just to make it a little more interesting. It's just a great meal. It's meant to be served the next day, uh, very cold out of a fridge. That's when it's at its best. Or reheated in a microwave. I mean, it's fine when it's new, but like all casseroles, it tastes better after it's cooled and reheated. Why is it the casseroles all take, taste better when they're cooled and reheated? I don't know. I don't like most casseroles, but I like your lasagna. Yes, yes. It's up there. It's like, it's in the top. Oh, smoked uh, I don't eat meat, Horror King. Except for, of course, fish. Because I hate fish. The thing. Not the, uh... There we go. Uh, not the food. Like, I hate the animal fish, so I'm fine eating it. Boom. Smoked trout. That That's pretty... That That's up there on my Smoked list. trout's an amazing meal. Uh, perch? Perch is a oh, very good fish. Perch is so good. Because I would never eat anything that uh, has any kind of familiar, a familial relationship with its parents, Horror King. If something uh, was loved by a parent, I don't. I would never eat it. That's why I'm fine eating insects and fish. 100% insects and fish feel no bonds with their offspring of any kind. And we know that because they regularly eat their own eggs. <laughs> like, fish don't even know what their eggs are. Okay, that is a nightmare. Oh my god! He has laser breath! That's right, actual laser breath. It's not just a nonsensical inset, uh, insult anymore. I really like... Oh, chicken oh, yeah. satay? Chicken That's satay true. Be because a lasagna is a, uh, a tiered casserole, no matter how high you tier it, it will still just be a lasagna. That's 100% accurate, freaking... Um, what else is my favorite? That I can't help you with. It's so 
hard to say. I know, right? See, normally you get one chest for beating the level, but because I also killed those guys and got the uh, silver key, I get a second chest automatically. Right now, I'm really enjoying that pasta dish I make where I make the sauce from scratch with the basil oh, yeah. Yeah, and the tomatoes. And it's like super spicy, like real spicy, not, you know... Cool or king. Normal people spicy. Yeah, I get that. Oh, what just happened? All right. So, uh, this has been Van, the uh, Van Helsing spin-off Death Trap, a Van Helsing-themed tower defense game. And as you can see, it's pretty darn badass. I'm a big fan of it. Also, I don't see where the next level is. Do you see where the next level is? I don't know how to see where the next level a is. A shield with no stars over it. That one right there. Where? There's one, two, three, four in the left corner. So okay. See the top one? Yeah. Just down there. Isn't that a shield with no stars on it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I had never seen one of those before. I had only seen a, sorry, one of those sickles once. So I didn't recognize it as a thing. Oh. Yeah, and it's literally because the sickle is a special kind of fight. Oh. I think it might be their equivalent of a boss battle. Huh. As you can see, the issue with this game is it was pretty clearly made for computers originally. So everything has a smaller font than it should if you're going to be playing it on a TV and a console. It's not a big issue, but it is an issue. Anyway, as I was saying, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. I'm going to see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir? Oh, what revoir. I go with what my lady says. I trust her more than anybody like, else. Like pasta belongs on the favorite food list. You think so? Yeah, like different pastas. I mean, like, even like your, your, like, Thai food pastas and, oh, they're all so good. When you say Thai food pastas, you mean like Pad Thai? Pad Thai, but like also others, like, like, uh, Pad Kim Yao or, uh, oh, that's so good. It is really good. It's so spicy and full of veggies. Mmm. Oh, I need to be level 18 before I can level up the God, snake anymore. Thank God mm. for rice pasta. Yeah, rice pasta is one of the best things. Okay, mana cost is decreased. Can't afford that anymore? I don't understand. Why can't I afford that anymore? Oh, I'm out of skill. No, I'm not. Okay, this is weird, right? You're looking at the screen. It says upgrade cost is one skill point. Yes, Lady Guru eats meat. But I can't upgrade that it. That's bad. It did. You're a terrible person. Oh, I see what happened. I don't eat a lot of meat, but I do eat meat. I spend, well, anyway, that's a long Anyway, uh, that's that. We'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, au revoir. Boom. God, what an interesting game. That was very interesting. Star Wars. We're going to be playing you on uh, Friday night along with Fran Bo, assuming my lady's awake for it. Okay. I'm not going to trust her to uh, deal with the chat window today, because she's... 100% going to fall asleep. Okay. Do you not think you will? Okay. See? She's lost the ability to remember different words. Okay. See? Alright. Next up, we're going to check out a hot new Match 3 game. Where's that? Twilight Solitaire or Solitaire L'Amour? I'm confused. Which one are you playing? I'm asking you. Oh. Well, Twilight. All right. Wait, they don't mean the horrible vampire game. I certainly know. hope not. Book, whatever. Did you just say game? Yeah, I got confused. She's very tired and has taken medication for a migraine, which, you know. So my brain no longer functions. Although, it no longer functions because of medication ah. rather than pain. So that's a good thing. Nice. All right, let's do this. Three... Two, Gerbil one. Shop. You do need lasagna, Pedro. Everyone needs lasagna. It's fantastic. I'm going to have some on Monday. All right. <clears throat> Hidden Object Guru here with Haunt New Game Jewel Match Twilight Solitaire. Uh, I am the Hidden Object Guru. You probably know me better as Hasvertahi. That one worked out pretty well. I guess uh, so. This is a brand new solitaire game, normal mode. Solitaire with unlimited normal rules. Pick card solitaire with more than one deal. I think normal's fine. Oh, dang. 
That is a lot of levels of solitaire. So this, I assume, is going to be another one of those tri peaks inspired There's a pattern of cards, and then you break them down. I am sad that they never made another Mahjong Huntress game. That thing was incredible. Yeah, that one was good. It was so difficult, but it was so good. Okay. Uh, foundation pile of card removed and placed. Okay, so one higher or one lower. So... I've got a queen. Rubies are used to build castles? What? I don't know. Beans are pretty cheap for it. Coins give you money you can to buy power-ups. Oh, cool. Special obstacles. Lock needs a key. Uh, frozen cards must be played twice to be removed. Damn. Chains are destroyed using the hammer and card. Okay. Ribbons are cut by using scissors. Seals can be red or black. You must play a corresponding red or black card to remove them. Makes perfect sense. Uh, some wax seals have a specific suit, and you must play the correct suit. Oh my god, this one's complicated. Thorns need to be scythe-sized, and wild cards and jokers let you do whatever you want. Jokers have, uh... Huh. But if they're wild cards, but so it has to be used as a six? I don't know. That's weird. I'm very confused. I That's feel alright. Like there's too many rules. Yes, I know. That's why I'm clicking here. All right, so two, three, four, five. To be able to cast, you need rubies. They're hidden under some of the cards on the board. When you play those cards, you get the ruby. But what is a cast? I mean, I know what a castle is. But where do I uh, find them? Jack, ten, nine. Wait, are these actual Twilight characters? No. It's just drawn that way to make you think that they are. Oh, no, I have to end my combo. That was going so well. I haven't played Clock Solitaire Horror King. What is it? If I may ask. All right, so what did... Oh, it increases your multiplier. Yes, I've played uh, games like this that have this rule. Ugh. There's too many rules. It is a lot of rules. You didn't have to highlight it. I understand the game I'm playing. There you go. Nine, eight... I need a two, four, queen, or ten. There we go. See, that's clearly... Yeah, the lady was clearly not a character from Twilight. We need a seven or a nine, people. This is always the most annoying part of Solitaire. There you go. Thank you. So you take the number of cards left, you multiply them by your multiplier, and then boom. That's your score? It is. Wow, I was dead on. Yay! I got the Rubai! How do we build the castle? You gather the resources and build a part of your castle. Oh, it's one of these. There are five castles need to rebuild in your quest. Cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, I do eat most of my stuff vegetarian, but... That's true. Yes. Let's I go get some Rubais! Oh, it's a flirtily. Nice. I wish the game had opened with a really long cutscene explaining why vampires were trying to rebuild a castle. Yeah. I feel like it was a tactical error on their part to not start the game that way. Nine, ten, nine, eight. That's seven, so seven. many jacks. Six. Which one, though? The oh, no, we one. can do both. Yeah. All right, so. That's a pretty good combo. Uh, less good than last time. So, Jack? Nah. Oof. This one's hey. gonna be a takedown pretty hard. Oh, you missed the two! I missed the two! Sorry! Oh, I can undo. Oh, no. No, I don't think I am gonna waste my uh, two if they're limited. Hey, we got both rubies. That's all we were here for. Right? I don't know. I can't follow the rules of the The logic game. and the rules of the game? Yeah. yeah. It's a bit much. Two. All coins hidden on the board. When you play those cards, you get coins used in the shop. Great. Oh my so, god. What? Just too many things. There are too many game. elements to the game. There's yeah. a shop now, and you gotta find coins. What is the 18 there? The ruby. See, this is what I'm talking about. You don't even know everything that's going on in this game. Because that, as I play cards, that number is not going down. I thought that was how many cards I had left. Oh, it changed to 19. It's how many cards you've collected. Oh. All right, that's embarrassing. Well, I hope you'll manage to find it, Maddie. Cool. Yeah, show me what Clock Solitaire is. It's a cute game. I mean, 
Maybe, but I... Check it out. I have no memory of these things. We built a chimney. Neat. Or possibly a crematorium. Neat. It is a vampire castle, after all. Neat. Your judgment is delicious to me. There's all right. There's a story happening. You know, I know about the key. It's right there. Okay, ten. Sadly, no nine. Six, five, four. Please be a two. Damn it. It's a lot of aces. Six. So I was just flat for the minute I said aces because I'm a buffoon. I immediately flashed on that. Uh, yeah, I know. I think you have to click on it. I figured as much. Then you can just automatically do it because, you know. Why should anything sure. be easy? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking of that wonderful bit from some more news where he suddenly uh, equated something in the Trump administration to the movie Smoking Aces, yeah. which he referred to as a reference that everyone watching this <laughs> will get. Oh, that's beautiful. Woohoo! That was a yeah. terrible combo, Precious yet it's the boy. best one we got. Oh, you don't have to play sol you don't know how to play solitaire? Basically, this is a form of tri peaks, and in tri peaks you set up a bunch of cards in three pyramids. And the idea is uh, you can uh, remove a card if you can uh, play it on your so you have your stack of cards, and you turn one over, and then if you have a card that is one higher or one lower, suit doesn't matter, then the card you just turned over. Thank you. Uh, then you can play that, you can take that card off the board and put it on your discard deck. And so if there's a five, six, seven, and you have a four in your discard deck, you can grab the five, then the six, then the seven, then like back to a six. It's interesting. Uh, this is the shop, you can buy wild cards and jokers here. Okay, now what is this, deck counter? Oh, cool! That actually sounds useful, knowing how many cards are left in the deck. Remove random. Remove one card randomly from the deck is worth 800 space bucks? I don't think so. I really Did don't. Did you say 800 space bucks? Is that not the amount that was it was? Amazing. King, queen, jack, queen. queen. Yeah. Except then we got an ace. And a ten. It's like they're mocking us with stuff we could have done. Uh, jack. Ten. ten. Key. Lock. Ace. Is... Okay, nine. Do we have it now? Eight, seven, six, five. Oh, see, I would have done the other five. I know you would have. Uh, ace, two, ace. Ah! Uh, but now we just need a... Oh, well, that five, works. Five, 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 four, five. Oh. So many vampires. Ah! So many sevens. Five. Of that course. Nice. What a disaster this and map has been. Alright, so we need a two, a four, or a king. Thank you. A two or a four, two or a four, two or a four. Oh my god. There you go. That was horrific. Why Happy to do it, freaking. I love card games. Especially Gin, the best card game of all. Is that fair to say? Gin in forever. I know. We should play Gin. Oh, totes. Gin is one of the best card games because it is a game of bluffing and strategery. What the hell? I did not me mean to press that. Ten. Uh, five. No. Uh, five. No. Oof. Oh, crap. I gotta pay closer attention. Jack. Ten. It didn't end up mattering, but still. It was bad luck. Alright, so. Here's the weird thing. So how does this work? So I go six, seven, eight, seven. Okay, so that's how it works. What's happening here? Something wrong with your phone? I hit something and stuff went awry. Oh. A war a I mean, is one of the worst ways for things to go. Yeah. King. Meh. Uno's a very good game. Uh, of course, 
you can play the non-branded version of it if you don't want to spend money. Uh, Uno is just the game Crazy Eights. And like, it's the exact same game. They just call it something else because they can make money by calling it something else. Now, that might sound cynical, but that's only because it's 100% true. And anytime you actively describe what capitalists do, it sounds like the most rank cynicism imaginable. Oh. Do you didn't think that was right? No, I, did, I wanted you to do other stuff. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll be more careful. Ha! Ah, so many kings! Uh, and Crazy Eights is called that because the game plays exactly like uh, uh, Crazy Eights. You know, discarding your uh, cards if you have one of the same suit or one of the same thing. And the crazy card is the eight. And they added, a, to be fair, they did add a couple of other cards to Crazy Eights. Yeah. Uh, there's the reverse card and the, like, force you, somebody else to take two cards nonsense. But fundamentally, the game is Crazy Eights. At the core of the rules, you're still pl just playing Crazy Eights. So it doesn't matter if I clear off all the cards as long as I get that ruby, right? Because we're only here for the rubies? Because yeah. we're running... Oh, thank God. Because we are running out of cards. Whew. That was close. I got you that, freaking. The card games can 100% feel daunting if you don't know uh, how to play them. What do you think? House or whatever the hell that is? Here's signpost? Yeah, I think we're building the signpost, not the here, house. Here's the thing I always try to remember the house, people not the that feel uh, intimidated by card games. Go. I have been playing card games my entire life. Every time we play a card game, and you can attest to this, yeah. I have to say, okay, what are the rules again? It's true. She gets very confused very easily, but she still loves card games. I literally... No, I, no once we're playing it, I'm fine. Oh, I know. But that was I, actually kind of cool. Because there was uh, two frozen cards that were next to each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. That actually worked out really well. All right, so what's our uh, bonus for that? 1.3 again? 1.4? 1. 1.3. Oh. That's yeah, not bad. It's not great. Uh, I don't know the game Snap. I can't help you with that one. Have you heard of the card game um, Snap? Yeah, I used to play it, but you're, again... It's been a while. We used to play, in my high school, we used to play card games on our lunch breaks. Totally rational. You gotta do something. Yeah. Ten. Jack. Rah. Ace. King. Um, Queen. Jack. Come on. Three or a six. Thank you. Five. Isn't that great? Five, four, five, four. That's awesome. And we just won the hand. Way to go, us. And we got to boost our combo a little bit. Yeah, so I literally have to ask every time I play cards, like, what the rules are. Totally reasonable. And I don't feel, like, I used to be insecure about that, but I'm like, no, I don't feel bad about that. Because, like, as soon as you remind me, I remember the rules. I'm like, okay, yeah, I remember how to play this thing. I do know, like, most popular card games, but I don't know how to play bridge. Woohoo! Paris Mahjong! Wait, we unlocked Mahjong in a solitaire game. Why do you think I was so excited to play this game? It was Halloween themed. I just had no idea it would also have Mahjong in it. Okay. I gotta say, this seem, game seems like a pretty good deal. Okay, the only problem is you have to be really pay a close attention to uh, the numbers on the side of the ghost, because uh, like close together numbers look the same. But it's the number of ghosts. Yes, I know, but you have to read the number. You don't, though. You like, can just look at the number of no, ghosts. No, but I looked at that one and that one, and they look the same, and then I realized it was oh, a six and a five. Oh, I see. All right, so we need eight bones. Oh my god, how great would Mahjong be if its tiles looked like this? That'd be fantastic, right? Also, we need a two. But the twos are very buried. I think the hardest one to figure out is going to be the pumpkins. Because they all look real similar. Clear out the middle, like the top part, as soon as you can, peeps. Trust me. I actually find you need to clear out the top part, but also clearing out the sides. Well, of course. Otherwise, you're left with a big flat playing board, and then ev everything's blocked. Oh, totally. That can happen. And I got two eights. Six, and do you see a six? It's down there, but is there another one? There's a six there. 
Oh, yeah, but we don't have it. No, the six there. Where? Oh, different type. I thought you meant goats. I didn't realize you meant bones. I should have said bones. That one's on me. Have. There's no match for him yet. Uh, okay, we got a nine. Oh, we got two eights. That's good. Uh, cauldron? Nope. I think you can get the nine ghosts and the nine ghosts up there. I think that nine goes to Where? in the middle. In the middle next to the six of bones. Nope. Oh, it's not. It looked raised. No, I got you. This is yes, we've played th cards against humanity. It's entertaining. See, you actually want to tilt this a little bit, and then you can see... So you can see the tiers more yeah. easily. That is an issue. That, you want to get it... That is a problem with Mahjong. This a lot of, of people... Uh, and a lot of people we building Mahjong one. games do the same thing. But you can see how that one's raised over there, but that's not enough. Yeah. If you tilt it just slightly, it's it's perfect. Yeah. You can see everything. All right, so where is the match to this bad boy? Down here, but that's it. He's he is buried. very buried. Yeah. And the worst part is, because that one's over there, we have to come from this side. And Oh, no, we can get that one. That was embarrassing. Oh, wait. Those... You can match any pumpkin with any other pumpkin. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that makes this so much easier. Wait, can I match... No, okay. Bat, please. Alright, so if we can get eight bats, which we can, we can clear out these goats. Goats? Ghosts. Five, oh, five. Oh, you two ghosts is free in the middle. Finally. Alright. Oh, no. Chess is a very cool game to play. I'm with you on that one. Am I bad at chess? Yes. But do I enjoy chess? I do. I've always enjoyed checkers. And checkers is fun. Like be, no, but like French rules. Which, what is a French rule? Those are the rules I know. Yeah, but what are they? Those are the ones where you get, I think, when, what happens in chess when, uh, checkers when you get to the end of the board? You can you come to... back and go whichever direction you want. Yeah, those are, those are French rules. Okay. Yeah. I see. Boom. Apparently in, in normal checkers you're not supposed to be able to do that i did not know that to which i'm like but then that's a super boring game it does sound like an extremely yeah. boring game and you can like get back some of your your taken men too there's uh -huh. a rule for that too in, in french checkers that does sound like an entertaining version of checkers uh, all right so i got the three do we have a three somewhere else oh yeah it's by being kinked because you get kings and then you can Hey, Mike, back. what's up? And then you can come back and you get, get Mike wants kings. to play squadrons later. You should totally play squadrons. Well, if you want to play squadrons, you're going to have to hit the like button on the video. Sorry, but that's the price you pay for getting a He's squadrons an partner. That way. I'm a monster. Everybody knows that. Ah, yeah, uh, look. Can Wait, can you get... You could match any two voodoo dolls. Oh, can you get the witch hat with the witch hat? Oh, well, of I course. I thought that was slightly raised. Yeah, I didn't think it was until you pointed at it. So thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we need sevens, nines. All right, I'll be bent down from some squadrons later on. Squadrons. Squadrons. Uh, apparently, we're saying cat. In shop. In shop. Uh, I need these skulls. All right. Yeah, I think Mike Pence... Uh, no, there are two options for Mike Pence. Either he has coronavirus, which is incredibly likely given what he's the way he's been living, and the or PMI. Trump is much worse than we thought, and he's got to rush back to Washington in case Trump has to be hospitalized again and they need there to be a president. Those are the two options, and neither of them has any good for America. But the fact that Trump puts keeps putting oh, out green the, screen and videos. Then the four and the four of bones. Thank you. Oh, I could not see that. Um, uh, the fact that Trump keeps putting out green screened videos, where he pretends that he's outside, does not make him look healthy. Yeah. Especially because they're like oh, really obviously that green screen. Black pumpkin face with that black pumpkin Thank face. Thank you then very the much. Five of bats with the five of bats. Where's the five of bats? Five of bats right there. And? Five of bats down at the bottom on the left hand side. Very, very bottom. Thank you. And then the four yeah, of the ghosts. four ghosts. No, it's blocked in no, both of them. Oh no, that one, that one. That oh, four yeah. of ghosts. Wait, but first let's see if we can deal with the seven and clear out to this four of ghosts first. Okay. Uh no, you're right. You're right. It's best to just do that one. 
That seven of ghosts in the middle with that seven of ghosts on the end? Yes. And that we'll find out what that is. Oh, it's a two! Which is there once we can get rid of those two bats. But we need a six of bones to get rid of those two bats. So keep an eye out. I got the three of bones. Hey, can we all just ta take a moment and pause and admire the horrid green screen that happened? Oh, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, we don't know. No one knows what's happened to Trump. Uh, he just hasn't been seen in public in a couple of days. And all they've been doing is putting out. He's had no public events. And they've just been putting out weird videos where he, like, talks for two minutes and rambles kind of incoherently while standing in front of a green screen to try and trick people into thinking that he's outside and healthy. It's, it's, vi like, it's really strange. weird. strange. And they're horrible green screen videos. Like, yeah, like they don't like, get the angles right at all. I could do better in my house. But I mean, honestly, you just have to yeah. pick a better picture for the background well, like and try to you. match the light. Okay, so they said to a White House intern, go get a, a picture of the White House lawn so we can put this on the green screen. And they literally picked the first thing they found. Yeah. And then cropped it. It was bad. Like, it wasn't even the right season. They cropped it. It's from the wrong angle and it's blurry. Do you know what would be great? Is if the next time they do that, they accidentally pick a photo where, like, Trump is in the background. Oh, God. Now I want people to just do that. That would be fantastic, right? Can the right? internet just green screen him in front of, like, stupid photos now? Apparently Trump... Is, was calling into Hannity tonight and just had a massive coughing fit on the air. Oh, really? I knew he'd called into Hannity. I hadn't heard he had a coughing fit. Oh, oh damn. I finally see. Oh, damn it. I don't have the sixes. Can I can't. I did, oh, thank you. I've just been trying to get rid of this six for a while now, but I don't see another nine. So you can do the nine of bats and the nine of bats in the middle. Thank you. And that gives me the seven of bats, which I didn't need, but I will soon. Well, no, the seven of bats and the seven of bats. Where's the other seven of the bats? The seven of bats is on the end, blocking oh, the six of bats. Oh, there's the six of bats, which and we've been needing for ages. The six of bats up there. Finally get rid of that witch's hat and unleash the nine of ghosts. Uh, six of bats. Four of ghosts is down there, so we don't really need it yet. Okay. Seven of bones. Seven of bones. There's six of bats. We got four of bats, which is hidden somewhere down here. We got a pumpkin. The other pumpkin better not believe that. Well, I mean, it's not really news to say Trump rambled like a goddamn okay, lunatic. The witch hat's up there. Oh yeah, you're right. Trump always. Ah, yeah, I, I knew, knew that it. Was you monster. The game Nixon us really hard. That is the one problem with mahjong. It's very easy to wind up in an unwinnable hand. I mean, I love... Of course, this isn't actually called Mahjong. We just use that colloquially. The game yes. is called Taipei. Yes. It's a puzzle game used uh, built using Mahjong, Mahjong pot, yeah. tiles. In the same way that different kinds of it's, solitaire are used... I uh, always called this Taipei, and everybody used to tell me I was wrong. So then I started calling it Mahjong, and then I found out I was wrong all, no. right yeah, all the time. You were right. It was Taipei. Uh, Wait. Oh, it let you oh, shuffle the four. tiles you had on the board. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's weird. It's fair. Yeah, it's not the way it's played. No, it is that it, it absolutely can My be played that way. My favorite are the ones, uh, the the ones where they programmed it in in this kind of Taipei. Yeah. Where they program it in so you can't get a losing hand. Like yeah. you might choose. You so might that fail. You get. But I, it is technically favorite, winnable. Yeah. My favorite yeah. programming things for them to do in this kind of. Thing. That is nice. Oh my sure. god. This is frustrating. But I didn't you know. Even see a cauldron the previous time. Yeah, I think... No, no, one of the cauldrons was up, but the other one was buried, and that's what Nixoned us. Your two of bones and your Boom. two of bones. Now you can get your three of bats. Oh, yeah, thank you. Then one you of bats. Bat six, six of bats. Six. Oh, maybe not. Maybe don't want to do that one yet. We can clear out this eight. No, we can't clear out the oh, eight. Oh, get your five of bones. No, wait. That was the one I wanted to... Oh, are you looking at this? This is not doable. Look, it can't be done unless we can get all the way across there. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, we can. No, that's a five, not an eight. Pay okay. attention, Hogaru. That's what I was trying to get you. I knew that's the one you needed. Oh, there get. it is. All right, we're good. This is happening. Uh, six is Down here. There. All right, we won, everybody. It was close, but we won it. We only had to reset 17 times. It was Whew. so spooky. 
Yeah. It was. All right. Uh, we're going to wrap up here. But yeah, I've played a lot of these solitaire games. And this one, you know, just the fact. Bonus levels! Just the fact that they give you bonus games of Taipei makes this one of the best of these that I've ever Anna Bridge played. Has a question. I just wish that this had, you know, Shoot, a giant elaborate story to go with it and then I'd be happy. I know, I'm disappointed that I have no idea what's going on. Well, uh, vampires want to rebuild castles. That's all that's actually yeah, going it's, on. Yeah, that's boring. Alright, so know. we're going to call it here. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more of those buttons for that coming up, questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, au revoir. Uh, yes, the, uh, the point of the mini game was to get money to spend in the store so you can buy part, uh, various, uh, perks to make the main game easier. Interesting. I know. Uh, I haven't played Deep Black. Sorry, I can't help you with that one, Unabridged. I do love underwater shooting games, though. So my, like, instinct would be, let's go yes on that one. Now, Dreadstar, uh, an old-timey shoot 'em up Is it going to be flashy in my eyes? Maybe. I'm Don't look at the angry. screen until we're sure it isn't. Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Dreadstar, the quest for revenge. As I understand it, this is a shmup, uh, like an old-style shooting game, so it should have uh, controller support, which it does. But for some reason, instead of just selecting things, I have to use this mouse. Oh. Why did you look at the screen? I told you not to look at the screen. Because I don't listen. That's true. You never oh listen. Oh, God. That was not good. All right. Let's do this. All right. We got a spaceship. It's in outer space rather than inner space. Although in a twist at the end of the game, it was all taking place in inner space. Ah. A simple journey or a sample journey? Oh no! It's a skull craft that's also an insect! Oh dang! Well, no wonder we need to get revenge. Okay. There is no time. Wait, why aren't they both escaping? Uh, not yet. Damn! That is some laser-blasting nonsense, everybody. To avenge your father and take down the evil Dread Skull. Oh, is he a pirate? Nice. Who threatened humanity? Sorry, who threatens humanity? Apparently I've lost my... Alright, here we go. Hunter license exam. Welcome to your hunter license exam. Nice. Okay. Alright. Click on the map to ship to change your equipment. Okay. Feel like this game shouldn't be built around clicking. All right, left weapon, Vulcan cannon, Vulcan cannon, engine, okay. All right, should be good. Let's save. Options, settings, key bindings. Trying to change the key bindings has locked up the game. I'm kidding, I'm sure it hasn't. But there is no option for changing the key bindings, even though there's a tab for that. Yeah, that's messed up. No, I haven't had a chance yet, Horror King. Achievements pop up. Sure, why not? Focus mode. Slow ship when firing secondary weapon. Nah, yeah, let's see what that does. Might make the game unbalanced. Tell me more about how to unbalance the game. Seriously, though, thank you for let giving me the opportunity to unbalance the game. That's pretty badass. All right, let's do this. Cylon Sector, Redbeard's Borough, Faraway Sector, Betel Goose, Aldebaran. Nice. Okay. 
How do I warp? B? Y, A, X? Um... Oh, no! They're pulling, uh, PC storefront support from the PS3, PS Vita libraries. Damn. What's that? Uh, not enough people are buying games on the, uh, PC storefront, so they're shutting it down for PS3 games. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Let me just, uh, okay, that's key bindings, achievements. That is weird. All right, so there's my ship. I have nothing in my inventory. Let's go to the map. So there doesn't seem to be any way to select a destination. So we're going to quit the game and try reloading and see if that fixes this issue. Because that's a pretty big issue. Time for a different game. Well, maybe. Hmm. Going back to the main menu. Uh, I choose to pronounce it wrong because I'm a bad person. How do you choose to pronounce Betel Goose. Beetlejuice. Oh. You know, like, there we go. Yeah, the game was just glitching. He was being silly. Actually, he's worried about saying his name too many times because he's worried he'll actually mm -hmm. appear. I mean, personally, I'd like to have Michael Keaton in my house. Yes, everyone agrees with that. Okay, I accidentally warped out. Which button is warp? Mm -mm. Something I should really look into. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try that again. So B is warp out, right? No. A is warp out. No? Y is warp Y is warp out. Okay. Alright, now I know how to play the game, kind of. Alright. Yeah. My ship is real slow. That's going to take some getting used to. Also, I overheated my cannon. Which, you know. That's a lot of pirates we got to deal with. No! My beautiful ship exploded! Well, that didn't go well. All right. So I've got 42 gems. Presumably with them I can buy a different gun. See, dear developer, and maybe this is something I can immediately buy something to deal with, but if guys are constantly shooting forward all the time, there's not really a lot I can do about it unless I have a spread shot, which I don't. So maybe look into selling me a spread shot. Oh, those are guns, not ships. Damn, I get killed a lot, huh? Oh, okay, Sarah, Sarah. Man, it's still level one. That's weird. What is that main weapon plus nonsense? Can you level up weapons? This is a very strange game. All right. I do like that every enemy has a health bar. But for some reason, mine's health bars start at like... Oh, they don't start less than. they. Okay, that's embarrassing. I thought they were starting at less than full, but no, I just... They only show up on my screen when I hit them the first time, so of course. If 
That was rough. All right, let's try this again. All right, I think there's a slight chance they may have wonked up the balance on their game a little. Especially because, and I know this is a weird thing to bring up, but it's oddly difficult to catch gems. Because, you know, I gotta keep shooting and I don't have a magnet for the gems at all. Now, maybe I'll be able to unlock a gem magnet as my first unlock and then, you know, this will be a lot easier. But I can't say for a fact that's gonna happen. Yes, got him. Before he started causing problems. Ah! Alright, here we go. Yes! Sorry, turret ship. But you learned a valuable lesson in missing with me. A guy who happens to be in a spaceship. Not one who's, like, known for anything in particular other than just having a spaceship. The hell was that? Well, I missed all of the gems it wanted to give me. Hey, I destroyed his turret. Nice. Suddenly we're playing Star Wars uh, Squadrons. Was it bad that I finished him off after destroying his turret? Probably not. I think that's going to be okay. All right, here we go. Uh, I saw Apocalypse War. Is that the most recent one? And if it is the most recent one, it was good. But that's mostly because it starred uh, Matt Ryan as uh, John Constantine. The one superstar currently existing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Matt Ryan's John Constantine. What is this left and right weapon stuff? I have two different weapon buttons, but, you know. Yeah, Matt Ryan's pretty fantastic. Yeah, he's the best. What do you mean by superstar, though? I don't know, like the one that uh, deserves to break out and oh, be I the biggest star yeah. of the entire franchise. And if that has to be in a series of movies where he and Lucifer team up to pull heists. Oh my god, I would watch the F out of that. That would be probably the best thing ever made. So if you haven't seen it during the Crisis um, crossover event last year, uh, or I guess that was actually at the start of this year. Jesus Christ, it's been a long year. I mean, I'm... Uh, briefly, Constantine, they ended up on Lucifer's Earth, and Constantine yeah. and Lucifer were like, knew one another and yeah. it was a beautiful like what two minute scene oh yeah so i'm just saying that made right, you want that crossover. i want you to picture a world right where i'm just throwing this out there uh lucifer has to steal something from heaven and the yeah. only person he can get to help him with that is john constantine yeah isn't that the only movie you ever need yeah. Neil Gaiman and see if he's on board. Yeah. Was that a guy who ejected from his ship? We should really finish watching Lucifer. Yeah, we gotta finish watching. Well, we're almost done, Columbo. We'll turn on Lucifer. Oh, I don't think so, pal. Oh, you had a plan that involved you not dying. Yeah. My plan was very different than your plan. Whoa. No, I need that money. Oh, I got that money. Good. All right. After this, we're going to see if we can buy something to improve our ship because we killed our first mini boss. So I used my gems to upgrade, right? But how much did they cost? Next level one, two, AS, whatever that means. All right. Let's go to the Redbeard's Burrow and see if we can buy something in the shop to... All right. Here we go. So we've got a laser, nice. That does one to shields and one to specials, whatever that means. Made more. Oh, I see. It's a kind of ship. I'm not smart. All right, so specials, armors, shields. I could really use a shield. Engines, but my character doesn't have a shield, right? Oh my god, everything's so expensive. Alright, specials. I need something that magnets up things. Weapon acceleration, smart bomb, weapon cooling, engine, booster. Option. Uh, special gravity ship, an option. I, 
option helper. Oh, that's what they were called in R type. Okay. Was it R type or was it um, Gradius where they were called options? But anyway, those are always useful. Hadron Exploder. So you can't buy a magnet. Well, that's Sooks. Tryon Cannon, Vulcan Can- Try- 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 Cannon. Yeah, it was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. Hmm, that's disappointing. So I could upgrade my shield. How many upgrade points do I have? Apparently I had one. Oh, it said down there. Okay. So now I have a shield. What does that mean in practice? I'm trying to help you, but I keep getting killed. I upgraded my shield, but I still don't have a shield. Oh, I probably have to buy a shield and then it'll upgrade in the same way that it was upgrading my weapons. I understand now. Kind of. Whoa. I see why someone would want an engine cooling, because hoof. Do you understand why all my gems went if I didn't use them to upgrade, though? Because I had more en uh, gems than that, and then, like, they disappeared. It was weird. Also, it'd be nice if there was some way to heal out in the field. Because it's like, I've only got two hits, and this is a very convoluted level, is my point. Launcher! Whoa. You slow down, in case it wasn't clear, you slow down a huge amount while you're shooting, so if you want to dodge, you can't shoot at the same time. Alright, get him, get him, get him, get him! Uh, I can't move left. I lost my move ability to move left for a minute, and so I missed all of the gems I could have gotten for killing the special guy. Not my finest moment. Also, why do all of these guys, no matter how big they are, except for that one special guy, only ever draw drop one point? Alright, so, let's go into my ship and see if there's somewhere I can install a shield. I would have to buy the shield first. Actually, it doesn't have any space for it. So let's go back to the store. You okay? Yeah. Okay, let's save. Map. Yes, yes, I know. Okay. Alright, warp engine, hyper warp, alright. So if I buy another hull, it will have more spaces for shields, right? But it is going to cost me 20... A minimum of 2,000 to get enough for a shield. That's crazy. You're describing craziness. Do you know how long we would have to play this game for to get 2,000 coins? I would like to point out that even if we defeat this mission, we will only get 250 space bucks. Oh, every time I get killed, I lose some of my gems. Okay, I didn't realize that. That's what was happening. Presumably, I am paying for my ship to be repaired. And resurrectified. Also, how do I fix the hull damage that it says I have? Oh, right. That was dangerous. But I felt pretty good about myself. Oh, come on! A lot of guys just not dropping gems this time. Wait, every time I get hit, I lose money? I just went down to 533. What the hell is that about? Oh my god. How am I supposed to make ever get any money built up if every time I get hit, I lose money? Also, I feel like that's something that should have been explained to me when I was starting the game. Seems like a pretty crucial rule to leave out. Alright, you have a good night, Horror King. Yes, yes, you're the worst, I know. Everyone knows you're the worst. 
Okay, careful. And down goes Frazier. Wait, do the... No, the red ones do give you more money, right? Yeah, of course they do. This game wouldn't make sense if they gave you... Didn't give... Oh, sorry, I have 48 gems. Then I died, and now I have... How many gems? 40 gems. I think. Huh. This is weird. You have a good night, freaking... It says hull points too, but I don't have any armor? Is that accurate? So if I had 48 and I got down to 40, that would suggest I was losing one sixth of my gems if I die, but how much if I just get hit? We'll have to try and check. All right, no, I didn't see myself lose any gems that time. What was that sound? That's right, I actually got distracted by a sound. I'm not good at this game. Then it just knocked me down to 40, even though I had 53. So did I have the exact... Oh, that was a level up. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's level up that main weapon again. Or maybe my left weapon or my right weapon. Do I know how to use my left weapon or my right weapon? No, I don't. Hull is Starship, main weapon, armor is X, engine is Y. Okay. You baffle me, game. I don't think you explained yourself well enough. But I could just be oversensitive. That's happened before. All right. Alright, here we go. Where is my money at, game? Oh, it's right here? Okay. Come on! Nice. Okay. I swear I've been hit more than twice this round, but I didn't lose. So if I were to warp out now with the money I made, what happens? Do I just get to keep the money? I do! Well, that's something. Now I've got critical damage, and the game won't tell me how to heal it. So that's hull points, right? Can be repaired at the store. Okay. So between missions, I have to go to the store and repair. Okay, I kind of get what's going on now. Repair costs... how much? A lot. 25 every time I want to repair. How am I ever going to turn a profit in this game? And I'll say it, developer. I would have a lot less complaints. Maybe no complaints. Probably not no complaints. If it wasn't so damn difficult to find gems. But the fact that you make it a chore... Uh, to ever pick up a gem... Is a problem. Because, like, while the gems are flying straight down, I have to keep killing guys and dodging bullets. Kajito ergo sum, it's more difficult than it should be to get my hands on some gems. Alright, here we go. Feeling a little better. Alright, so I'm going to try and kill the vertical, sorry, the horizontal ship, whatever it's called. And see if it gives you bonus gems. Hey, Christopher, what's up? <laughs> Apparently he found us because he's very bored. Aww. I know. Perfect place to be. All right, here we go. I, and I missed the gems because I was busy trying to kill everything. I think the gems also fall way too quickly. You got here right in time for the last game of the stream, Christopher. I had that weird issue where I couldn't move left again. It's disconcerting. Seriously, 25 every time you want to heal a point of damage. But you would have to kill like 50 guys to get 25 gems. If you caught every gem. Which, how the hell are you going to manage that? Mm, this game's kind of baffling. I should have just played more uh, Rogue Aces. Seriously, everybody, Rogue Aces. You want a game? 
That's a video game. I think they only give you like... Like three. Whereas the green ones count for one. Which is not enough for the, any of this to be worth it. She's very dozy as you can hear. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Uh, seriously, if you're looking for an unbelievably fun... Uh, uh, air combat, like arcade air combat game with great roguelite elements... You want the game Rogue Aces. It is magnificent. I cannot recommend this game highly enough. It's the rare rogue-like uh, game that I like played all the way through and unlocked everything. That almost never happens. That's how good Rogue Aces is. That's partially because I had, as a youth, played the various games that inspired it, like Wings of Fury. But it is, even for someone who doesn't have that personal background with those games, I sincerely believe you're going to have a good time with it. Okay, so, I killed a lot of dudes, and how is my ship hull? It's fine? Why do I only have three coins? I died with like 30-some coins. When I die, why don't you tell me what I lose when I die? Wouldn't that make things a little more convenient, game, if you explain that teensy bit of how this thing operated? Also, I seem to be getting combos for killing multiple guys in quick succession. Watch. What does that do? Does that make the coins more valuable? Not that I can see. Very little about this game makes sense to me. Where do all my coins keep going? Uh, why don't I have a coin magnet to make it just a tiny bit easier to pick this stuff up? Also, why is the highest the multiplier can go X2? Alright, so that's... No. I got an X2. I caught that coin. It was just worth one gem. So what is, I mean, maybe the multiplayer is about, ex, the multiplayer, oh my god, the multiplier is about experience points? But the experience point system is so oblique, like, I don't know how much experience points I'm getting for killing things. Like, okay, developer, if by some miracle you're listening to this uh, video, what I would like to recommend is a results screen when you end a run. Tell me how many coins I got. Tell me how much experience I got. Tell me how many ships I destroyed. Blah, 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 like... Let me, f help me figure out the rules of the game by giving me more information as I play the game. Because right now, everything is oblique, and after every mission, I either have, I either lose three gems, or after the mission, I have zero gems. And I don't know what is causing those two different conditions to occur. So you've got your main weapon, which does not build up heat. Oh, damn it, sorry. And then you've got your side weapons, which do lift, build up heat. Right? But yet, the side weapons are counted as different things on the list. And now this is going to do 10% more damage every time. I still don't know what this AS is. What's that about? Alright, we'll take one last run at this, and then we'll, we'll give up. Because, uh, how shall I put this? Oh wait, I just realized something. Let's see what happens if we set it to a higher difficulty. We, do we finally start getting the rewards we feel we deserve? And see, I'm back down to three gems. I died and I'm back down to three gems. You might say, but Hoguru, why are you back down? Oh, you can't do it until you've beaten it on normal. All right, well, that's embarrassing. Why are you back down to three gems? And the answer I'll give you is, I, I don't know. Nothing about this game makes any kind of logical sense to me. Why, thank you. I've always... Oh, and you can't pause. <laughs> you can't pause? What are you doing, game? Like, I, I like that you can jump out anytime you want. That's nice. But you can't pause. Oh, I think I know what might be happening. I think if you... Okay, I think I know what's happening. Alright, so if you die, it just resets you back to your state before you got uh, went on that last mission. So, because I had spent all that money repairing my ship, I'm back to three. But if I had warped out after getting two, I would get to keep all the money I had... But I would only have two hit points left because I warped out instead of finishing the mission. Is that it? Again. This game is like... Deci it's like it's deciding to be difficult. And again, this whole first half of the mission I just did... Well, first quarter of the mission. Uh, I only made 30 gems in the whole thing. So if I warp out now and repair... I would only have, uh, what do you call it? I would only have, you know, six gems left because it's got 25 to repair. 
I wish he took damage when he was uh, looming up and making his presence known. Right, here it comes. Oh, crap. I didn't see that. That was embarrassing. So focused on his new attack that I did. All right. So now I've got 38 gems. That's not enough to accomplish anything. But if I, and if I jump out now, I can't even get back to full health, because I don't have 50 gems yet. Alright, so developer, uh, end of mission information about what happened. Clue your players in. Two, let me either give the player a gem magnet, so they can actually start collecting some of these gems without killing themselves, or let them, like, buy a gem magnet in the store early in the game. So, like, make it a fun challenge, right? Apparently I achieved a max combo. But I don't know how combos work or what it accomplishes. So anyway, um, or like at the beginning, and so I should have three again, right? Yeah, okay, finally I understand how that part works. Uh, so yeah, what you want to do is either start them with it or like, oh, well, if you can put 50 coins together, you can buy the coin magnet. And so then they train themselves up to that point. But then they got the coin magnet and the game becomes a little easier. So what I'm saying is job one coin magnet Job to rebalance the entire rest of your game. Although, again, the coin magnet's gonna long, gonna go a long way, and seriously, tell people how to play the game, your game. All right, so for now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. I'm gonna see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, I'll say that's right. Au revoir. All right, we are likewise wrapping up the stream here. Thanks to everybody who dropped by. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. Uh, we're going to be back here tomorrow night. We're going to be playing some... Uh... Oh, yes. Thanks for stopping by, Christopher. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what little time you spent on the stream. There's literally 6,000 other videos on my channel to entertain you, if that's something you'd like. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you back here tomorrow for some... Uh, if my lady is awake enough... Uh, squadrons and uh fran bow but if not fran bow and some other stuff so that's gonna be a good day see you back here for that but until then i'm gonna say that's right au revoir